hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by so northern has, has boldly come out to say that whoever it is they have in Aso Rock, which some people said he is muhammad of buhari is the cause of insecurity and killings happening in the north and they've also given him 14 days ultimatum to stop the killings and sack nsa which is Mong mongunu we're just gonna get into the news in full details but please if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button in that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you all are supporting us here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name Hey man, this news I read, the Northern Ethnic Group Assembly has asked the Nigerian government to stop the massive killing of people and raiding of communities in the north by bandits and Boko Haram, ESWAP terrorists. The spokesperson for the group, an umbrella coalition of Northern Youth Group, Mr. Ibrahim Damusa, said the call had become necessary over the worsening situation of insecurity in the north. He decried the unending killings in the north while calling on the Northern elite to speak out. In a statement issued on Sunday in Kaduna, the group decried the deplorable security situation in the north and demanded the immediate sacking of the national security advisor major general babagana mongunu the group lamented the inability of the people from zamfara kaduna kanu and other part of the country to assess the federal capital territory fct due to incessant kidnappings by the bandits on the highway the coalition called on president muhammad buhari to tackle insecurity and stop the maiming and destruction of lives and property respectively the group in its statement gave a 14-day ultimatum to nigerian government to stop killing in the north warning that it would be left with no option but to mobilize citizens for protest until the government is shut down the group lament that five years into president muhammad buhari's administration the security situation has continued to escalate leading to massive killings and destructions that musa also noted that with the removal of service chiefs and changes in the police hierarchy the only office that needs to be rejected now is the nsa office under retired Major General Mongunu. It said Buhari had fed Nigerians who gave him massive support, believing that as a retired military general, he could tackle the security challenges but evening the country. It is on a sad note that this coalition wishes to remind the federal government and government at all levels that the primary responsibility of government anywhere, particularly the one that was democratically elected by voters is to protect the lives and property of citizens. Alas, five years into President Muhammad Buhari's tenure, instead of reducing insecurity, it has escalated, thereby exposing great numbers of our people to avoidable debt and loss of property in a manner that history has never witnessed before. As patriotic citizens, it is our constitutional duty to raise voices and call attention to the killings that are taking place across the state of the northern region on a daily basis and mobilize citizens on how to constructively engage government at all levels and make demands to end the killings. The group is saying enough is enough and an end must be put to the mindless killing of our people, particularly in the villages and the non charlatan attitude displayed by government and its agencies to the plight of people going through horrific experience in the hands of criminals that seems to have overwhelmed our security agencies, it stated. Calling on the president to relieve the national security advisor, Major General Mongunu, of his appointment immediately, the group said, we restate on a 
Equivoc leader Mongunu has failed to provide useful advice to address the scourging insecurity in the country and therefore does not deserve continuous stay in office. As a pro northern group, we have found it very important to call on President Buhari to remove the National Security Advisor, Major General Babagana Mongunu, whose office and responsibilities are critical to the achievement of comprehensive security all over the country but hasn't used the high esteem of his office in any productive way since his appointment as NSA. The reason for his call is not far-fetched. We believe that Major General Mongunu was part of the gross failure associated with the tenure of the former security chiefs and his continuous presence in office. We make the sources Buhari intended to achieve with the changes very difficult, if not completely impossible. All right, guys, and that is it for you all. A Northern group has given President Muhammad al-Buhari 14 days ultimatum to sack uh, the NSA and also stop the killings in the Northern part of the country. And according to them, if that is not done in 14 days' time, they will shut down the government with protest. So we are waiting for all of that to happen. But at the end of the day, you don't give deaf and dumb uh, ultimatum because <laughs> this government is completely deaf and dumb they are not doing they are not here and come to talk of doing anything let me take some comment for you guys here someone here said northerners finally complaining it used to be the southerners complaining on behalf of the north they will remain stoic as if it doesn't affect them because their fellow men were in charge now Reality has come because they can't go home to their villages. They now know that religious beliefs and ethnic bias does not count. A bit late for the reality to hit its mark. And someone here says, I have said it before now that I am going to leave the state. President Buhari is weak. He can't address a nation. He can't talk just there like when. I don't know. People should block all federal roads. He may respond. And someone here says, although your crying out is long overdue, but it is applaudable move to quell the raging fire of insecurity in the northern nigeria don't mind those that are busy shouting ipob while their homes are on fire and someone here says i believe if the presence of the military were everywhere in the northern nigeria like in the southern those bandits and boko haram could have stopped meanwhile i don't believe nigeria is in shortage of military Personnel. And someone here says, what are you saying? If I were you, I would have been shouting Sai Baba, Sai Baba Buhari. When you were told Buhari has no agenda for Nigeria, you people thought it was a lie. Just see what is happening now. And someone here says, laughing out loud, thank God, finally, Northern youth are beginning to wake up from their long sleep. Hope they will not come and tell you people again that it is Southern and Easterners that are your problems. And that is it for you all. I'm stopping the comment here. Um, why we await their action, not just talking, because they said 14 days. So we have started count the, 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 the 14 days are started counting from today. So after 14 days, we will remind them. So I'm just going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.